What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Daniel, and welcome back to the video. Today, I'm doing race picks for the 2024 Andy's Frozen Custard 300. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. This weekend, the NASCAR Xfinity Series heads at a one and a half mile racetrack known as Texas Motor Speedway in Fort Worth, Texas, a very treacherous mile and a half. The last time we ran here at Texas Motor Speedway, we saw John Hernimacek pick up the victory. He will not be back this time around to defend a victory at Texas Motor Speedway as of course it is a dash for cash race and he's not eligible for the dash for cash. So now let's go ahead and jump into picks. But before we go ahead and jump into picks, let's take a look at the weather for this weekend. So the weather for this weekend is looking extremely promising. It's going to be 81 degrees at high with 62 degrees at low with a 0% chance of rain with cloudy skies. Going to be some decent weather if you're headed out to Texas Motor Speedway. So now, let's go ahead and jump into picks. For those who are new to the channel, here's how picks work on the channel. As you do two suck picks, two drivers I expect to struggle throughout the race in a weekend who have been on a little bit of bad stretch as of recently. I do two underdog picks, two drivers I expect on really well under front equipment or have a really strong run who have been on a good performance. And I do my winner's pick, the driver thinks is going to win the race overall. And I do the ones you need to watch out for, and usually for the Xfinity Series and the Chuck Series as well, I usually do four drivers you need to watch out for. So now, let's go ahead and jump into picks. Who are my suck picks for the 2024 Andy's Frozen Custard 300? My first suck pick for this weekend at Texas is the driver of the nine car for Junior Motorsports, Brandon Jones. Brandon Jones has been a little bit of a slump the last couple weeks. Unfortunately, he had some troubles at Richmond where he crashed out because of an engine failure, and he did not have a great run at Martinsville and had that missed shift on the restart about 20 or 30% of the way through the race at Martinsville. I don't think Brandon Jones is going to run great, and considering the fact he historically has not been amazing at Texas Motor Speedway, I think he's going to struggle this weekend. I know the nine car won here for Noah Gregson a few years ago, but sadly, I don't think that Brandon Jones is going to have a good chance and opportunity. I think he'll struggle this weekend, sadly, at Texas Motor Speedway. My second suck pick for this weekend at Texas is the driver of the 10 car for Colleague Racing, Daniel Dye. Daniel Dye did, to be fair, get a top 20 the last time we were here at Texas Motor Speedway in the Xfinity Series, but I'm not expecting much from the 10 car. Considering the call of racing has been kind of hit or miss in Xfinity so far in 2024, I don't trust Daniel Dye going into the weekend. I think there's going to be a lot of struggles coming away at this 10 car, and I think he's going to finish out to the top 20, which if you're in a call car, you should be running a lot better than 20th position. I think Daniel Dye is going to struggle, and I think he will not have a good run this weekend at Texas Motor Speedway. And now we're going to go ahead and jump on to the underdog picks for the Andy's Frozen Custer 300. Who are my underdog picks? My first underdog pick for this weekend at Texas Motor Speedway is a driver of the 97 car for Colleague Racing, Shane Van Gisbergen. Shane Van Gisbergen has, very, has been very impressive so far in 2024. He's only had two finishes outside the top 20, and one of those top uh, finishes outside the top 20, he should have finished in the runner-up position, but got that 30-second penalty at Coda. He's been learning these tracks really, really quickly. And I think he's going to be a contender for a top 10 once again this weekend. And currently, he's in the playoffs at the moment after being able to get a top 11 finish at Martinsville. I think Shane Van Gisbergen is going to have a very, very solid performance. And I think he will have a good chance and, top, a chance and opportunity to get a top 10 this weekend at Texas Motor Speedway. My second underdog pick for this weekend at Texas is a driver of the five car for our motorsports, Anthony Alfredo. Anthony Fredo has been definitely surprising me so far in 2024. He's been in playoff contention all year long so far, and I've been really impressed with the speed that he has showed throughout the 2024 NASCAR Xfinity Series season. He's had a couple top 10s, and has been in the top 15 on a week-by-week -week basis, and Marzal went really, really well for him. So I think that Anthony Alfredo will be a solid threat and contender for a potential top 10, and will put himself in position to potentially have a great run this weekend at Texas Motor Speedway. And now we're going ahead and jump onto the winner's pick for the Andy's Frozen Custard 300. Who do I think is going to win? The driver who I'm picking to win this weekend at Texas Motor Speedway has been part of probably the fastest organization in the Xfinity Series so far. And that is a driver of the 81 car for Joe Gibbs Racing, Chandler Smith. We've seen Joe Gibbs Racing dominate four of the last five races, with the only other win coming from Kyle Larson in the 1700 Dakota. Other than that, JGR has dominated four of the last five races, and Chandler Smith has consistently been the fastest driver at Joe Gibbs Racing and the fastest driver in the Xfinity Series so far, consistency-wise as well. 
I think Chandler Smith's going to get it done. I think he's going to be the guy to beat this weekend, and I think that he will be the guy to go to victory lane. He'll, I believe he'll get his third win of the Xfinity Series season this weekend at Texas Motor Speedway. I'm picking Chandler Smith to get it done. So now we're going ahead and jump onto the drivers you need to watch out for for this weekend at Texas. Who should you watch out for? The first driver to watch out for for this weekend at Texas is a driver of the 20 car for Joe Gibbs Racing, Ryan Truex. Ryan Truex it will be making his first or second Xfinity Series start of the season so far. And Ryan Truex has been very, very impressive last year. He did a really good job, got a win at Dover. And he's in the 20 car, which is the same car that won the last time we are here at Texas Motor Speedway. So I think that Ryan Truex have a good chance and an opportunity. And it would not shock or surprise me if he does pick up his second career Xfinity Series win this weekend at Texas Motor Speedway. The second driver to watch out for for this weekend at Texas is the driver seven car for Junior Motorsports, Justin Allgaier. While Justin Allgaier, I believe, is still looking for his first top five of the season so far, he has been pretty solid and has had some good speed this year. He's still looking for that first win of the year as well. But I think that Justin Allgaier is going to have a good chance and opportunity. Justin Allgaier historically has been pretty great at Texas Motors people. I don't think he's won at this track before. We know that Junior Motorsports has been great here in the past. So I think that Justin Allgaier is going to be a serious threat and a serious contender to potentially get Junior Motorsports' first win of the year and his first win of 2024. The third driver to watch out for for this weekend at Texas is a driver of the 21 car for Richard Hills Racing, Austin Hill. Outside of that crash he had last week in Martinsville, he's been extremely impressive to start off 2024. And I think that Austin Hill is going to be a contender to get it done. He's been pretty good at this track historically. I think that Austin Hill will be a serious threat and a contender to potentially pick up his third win of 2024 this weekend at Texas. I think will be a serious threat and contender to get it done. And the fourth final driver I think you should watch out for for this weekend at Texas is a driver of the 48 car for Big Machine Racing, Parker Klergerman. I think Park Klergerman is kind of under the radar going into this weekend. Because while Park Klergerman hasn't had the greatest finishes this year, I feel like Big Machine has been showing a lot more pace and speed. And you look at Park Klergerman. The last time he ran here at Texas, Parker Klergerman was a serious threat and serious contender to go to victory lane. I think that Park Klergerman is going to have a fast enough car to contend for the victory, and I think Big Machine is going to do what they can, because plus, I believe Tyler Reddick won at this track a few years ago as well. So I think that Park Klergerman will have a great chance and opportunity to pick up the win at Texas Motor Speedway. So, those are my race picks for the 2024 Andy's Frozen Custer 300. Just a reminder, my suck picks are Brandon Jones, Daniel Dye. My underdog picks are Shane Van Gisberg and Anthony Alfredo. My winner's pick is Chandler Smith. And the ones to watch out for are Ryan Truex, Justin Allgaier, Austin Hill, and Parker Klegerman. Those are my race picks. So, that is going to be the race picks video for the 2024 Andy's Frozen Custer 300 at Texas Motor Speedway. One thing, guys, for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Notifications on so if I win a video, does go live on my channel. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support our patron as well. Let's go to below that and comment below your picks below for this weekend at Texas. Let me know your suck picks. Let me know your underdog picks. Let me know your winner's pick. And let me know your drivers you're watching out for for this weekend at Texas Motor Speedway. Let me your picks in the comments below. More than likely, tomorrow on the channel, you're going to see the 2025 NASCAR Silly Season predictions dropping. And if any major news breaks, we'll talk about that as well. Then on Friday, we're going to have the race picks for the Cup Series race at Texas. And we're also going to have the paint skin video more than likely dropping along with the Truck Series race review. And then on Saturday and Sunday, we'll have race reviews and other videos dropping for this weekend at Texas. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode. And I'll see you guys next time for more great, awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, buddy.